good morning welcome to our youtube channel youtube engineering services the house plan market if you are just joining us for the first time you are highly welcome this platform is designed and dedicated for homeowners we we'll try to explain stage by stage process of our house construction process apart from that we equally try to explain the importance and the need for proper understanding of what needs to be done during house construction process so every stage of our house construction process is well explained on this platform outside our house construction process we equally explain issues relating to house construction matters if you are joining us for the first time and you are yet to subscribe please subscribe click on the notification bell that will if we upload any new video about our house construction process you will be the first person to be notified about it this particular particular video is about how we treated the phone work and the casting and the casting video i've already placed the link below the description so that if you are interested to know more about the the placement of reinforcement the phone work and the casting process please click the link at the description area for more details today what we are looking at is the form work process laying of our block work for us to be able to lay our block work the first thing we need to establish is the external point for this five bedroom two place you are seeing right now we have almost all the areas are carrying cantilever and we cannot just start our form work from the point of the cantilever section if you want to do a good job you will need to locate the point where you have the point where there's no cantilever where you can locate the ground the, the the block work from the ground floor and you connect it with the help of a range and a plumb you connect it to the to the to the upper floor once you are able to establish that link from there we can get use our measurements we have the overall dimension of the house then we use from that point that we have getting our reference point and take the dimension to the vertical side and the horizontal side plump make sure that they are all square around the entire building before we start partitioning the internal section if it is not done this way there's definitely you are sure of having problem because the walls will not be in the same alignment they will not be straight so for us to get accurate work we only start from the point of known from where we know to the point of the unknown i hope that is clear another area that i want to expand on is on our mix ratio from our structural design details our mix ratio is one is to four this is where most of the homeowners get it wrong especially when they involve non-engineers in their construction activities in most sites you discover it's difficult for them to convert 
the mixed ratio into practical terms. So you find out at the end of the day, they use what they use in their previous site in another new site without checking the mixed ratio. But for the engineers, I strongly believe that this should not be a problem for them because they understand what is meant by mixed ratio. For the purpose of homeowners, what I'm saying here when I use the word mixed ratio is the amount of sand that you will need for a bag of cement. So if the design details is saying 1 is to 4, it means it's telling you use a particular number of sand or a social quantity of sand for a particular bag of cement. Now, if you have labels or medicine that you have engaged for your site activities and for a bag of cement, they decide to use a mixed ratio that we make the cement to be weak. It means that at the end of the day, your block work will not be closely bound. They will not have good concrete strength that, will, that, that is needed to bond all the blocks together. This is a big challenge that we have during laying of block works. Sometimes you see the labels because they wanted to meet up with their daily tax, they overload this this the sand compared to the amount of cement that they want to use for chalking. If this is not properly monitored, you are likely to have serious challenges in the long run on your building. Two things that you experience: either one, you as you see separation, or you can it can result to cracks. But for 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 us to do for us at Utico Engineering Services, we carry out our construction work based on the structural design details. For a mixed ratio, for a mortar cement ratio of one is to four, we try to use eight eight pounds of sand. If it is very very full. Or if it is water level, we can use 10 8 pounds of sand. If you are homeowners and you are using 12 8 pounds, 16 8 pounds, I would advise you to reduce it to either 10 or 8. This will help you in the long run. to create quality bond between the walls. If you want to know more on how you can calculate the number of sand and chippings required for a bag of cement, I have dropped a link to one of my articles regarding that. Please check the description area you see the link there you, you you have detailed explanation on how you can calculate the number of sand required for a bag of cement another area i want to face or explain more on is the chalking if you have a good quality concrete mix and it's not properly chalk you will still have a weak zone between the block walls and this will lead this can equally lead to crack and separation so i always advise homeowners if you are engaging your a medicine to do your block laying work for you it is always better you engage them on daily basis i mean on number of blocks that they will lay for you per day rather than on counting basis if you give them a block work based on counting basis the implication is that the medicine 
we look for every avenue to lay a very high amount of block. What this means is that they are not going to consider they are not going to consider carefulness and they will not follow the proper thing that needs to be done in order to get accurate work. Rather, you are going to get block laying that will be undulating, the walls will not be straight, and you will not get any good results at all. So I always advise homeowners to do the needful by engaging them based on daily basis. Thank you so much for staying up to this hour with me. On my next video, I'll be discussing in details on linter form work and the beam. I, if you have not subscribed at this stage, please try your possible best to subscribe and share this video. That way, you will encourage others that need to know one or two things about their house construction work to have that idea on what to do when it's needed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And God bless you.